Welcome to JDMBA.com. This is John's Reporters for the 25th. And as we get close to the end of the month here, we're still uh, writing near the highs. Uh, we're starting to see uh, that strong acceleration to peaks. Uh, of course, now we're seeing uh, white MBI starting to rise above. It's not going to uh, impact the bullish nature, but um, in any decay of that, we will start to see um, a little bit more of a drawdown potential. Guaranteed until it actually took place. The NASDAQ clearly showing much bigger separation, and that's why it's been the leader uh, in this move uh, without any question. Because you can clearly see that the magenta has stayed above the 33 level and mostly above the uh, yellow throughout this, and the NBI white has been uh, very subdued and nearing that range where red writing well above it, uh, you're not going to see any uh, significant. Pull back until that changes. We'll, we'll notice it intraday before anything happens. And uh, likewise with gold, as long as that weight had been above, unable to do anything, just basically holding on at this particular stage. Um, and the euro, uh, the next bullish move, uh, starting to see descending in the weight, so it could have a bit more of a play to the upside, which is what we were talking about from before. Um, Interesting enough, uh, Bitcoin, when it had its uh, bullish move, we keep hitting that same 34K resistance that uh, has been pretty stable. We ended up at that white peak right here. So it was a matter of waiting for the breakdown, which took place uh, right at the end of the day. Expectation would be back down to the 0% line. Uh, but as we've talked about, when you do get that signal, that 0% line can rise, and that's exactly what's happened. This is the same thing on the uh, 5K chart as well. Um, you can see here at the end of the day, start getting these white spikes and getting significant pullbacks in them, not all of them getting down to that zero we thought that, uh, well, uh, suggested on our spec chat that potentially we would see it. And then after our setup, we got closer with the 23%, but still producing the same configuration. But um, likewise, that 0% is rising, so it just changes that uh, final target range. But nonetheless, uh, still giving pretty decent uh, downside moves when, when it does take place. So that's all we really look for in those situations. Um, all good from that standpoint. Nothing to complain about there. I mean, it's pretty clean from uh, the buy setup. Uh, stayed strong throughout most of the day until we finally started to decay here when we finally got the uh, white setup and made a little bit of a peak, but that's when we started seeing repeats of this uh, white, which gave us much more of that wave action still within the, the upper side of the range of some. All in all, good action and fairly clean from um, being able to read what was about to happen. So we'll continue to play it from there. As always, I will put up uh, relevant charts on the Skype chat. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.